Hi, folks. Um, welcome to the tonight's stream for of, uh, of our presentation uh, from Takeda Sun, who uh, will talk to about the uh, cyber threats of uh, the coronavirus. But just before we do that, I, you see a graphic up here. So this is a little brief commercial interlude. Um, I just wanted to tell you folks that we're doing some cool stuff together with Hacker High School. Uh, we're doing a series of ongoing courses that will be uh, one to two hour sessions uh, um, that will be in actually eventually available in multiple languages. But they're real actual hacking courses oriented at promising teens that uh, have aptitude and an interest into what, make, what makes things tick. Now, they're not... Uh, pretend courses that, that don't actually tell uh, tell the students anything. They're for people you really think have the aptitude for that. And I think they've done a really good job when we're just set, uh, starting those uh, courses out with a new promotion and a new set of courses. So please have a look at those on the sequest.net site. And with that, let me switch over to this over here. And we'll uh, we'll bring in, bring in uh, of our uh, our first speaker, our, our um, first speaker. So I guess we'll uh, please. Uh, we, don't, we don't have a studio audience, so we'll just have, have to make sure we have ourselves. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, a big hand for our, our first speaker. So I'm our first speaker. So I'm going to pick myself out of this picture, and uh, we'll switch over here. So it's all you. Please, thank you. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much okay. for coming. Okay, okay. <laughs> I will start. Okay, uh, thank you very much for coming to my presentation. Uh, I'm Takahiro Takeda. Uh, today, I'm going to talk uh, classifying coronavirus uh, related cyber threat. Uh, before moving on, I would like to introduce uh, myself briefly. Uh, after graduating at university, I worked as a security analyst in the largest scale of SOC in Japan called JSOC. Uh, I analyze uh, some ancient logs to protect our customer servers. And I so I call the customers and uh, uh, to we can we decide uh, what's the severe ancient level. And uh, also uh, since 2017, uh, September, I was seconded to the Japan Cyber Crime Control Center uh, called JC3 as a threat analyst. Uh, this organization consists of uh, several companies, uh, private companies, and also research institutions or university and law enforcement and to prevent malware from expanding and also some call for attention yeah, to prevent. So in here, uh, I'm specialized in uh, analyzing Android malware, for example, our fake spy. Uh, and now uh, I am a malware analyst in a cyber emergency center, LAC. So, okay, let's uh, start my presentation. Here is the outline of my presentation. My talk today will have seven parts. First, I will introduce the background of this research. Then I will talk about uh, coronavirus cyber threat, uh, focusing on uh, like phishing and ransomware VPN. Uh, thirdly, I will talk about spam mail related to coronavirus. For example, uh, subject of spam email disguised as uh, coronavirus related. Uh, what country is spam mail have been sent from? And also, I introduce attachment malware tendency. Then, uh, main part will start. I will explain method for group classification for each attacker and characteristics of each adversary. After that, I will introduce cross-checking IOC analysis using STIX version 2. Lastly, I will conclude, I will conclude with uh, what I found this research. OK, so first, I will introduce the background of this research. Uh, since March 2020, Corona cyber threat have been continuously confirmed around the world. One of the biggest threat vector is through our email protocol, specifically from spam emails. In addition, with the expansion of telework, rapidly increased in the use of services such as RDP, VPN, VPN, and cloud. In spam emails distributed around the world, 
the asymmetrisis leading to the attacker. The purpose of this presentation is to avoid future attacks in advance by analyzing coronavirus spam emails and sharing IOC. Before going into the main part, I will introduce a coronavirus related cyber threat. This is a phishing email with the subject COVID-19 uh, found relief award. The body of the email notifies the recipient that they are the lucky winners in the second batch of ongoing Google 21st anniversary in conjunction with United Nations COVID-19 Fund Relief Award as organized by Google, Google Head Office Management in the California, United States of America. Uh, once we open the attached PDF file in the scan, United Nations COVID-19 PDF, we immediately see the trademark abuse of the notable organizations including that of the United Nations symbols along with the Nazi party logo for one of the O's in the Google logo. It should be an easy tell uh, that this email is fake. In addition, the issuing organization clearly has no grasp of even basic information, so such as the first and last name of winners. It's really weird. So based on this fact, this email is a very suspicious and fake email. In this case, attackers are sending an RH summon to the mandatory COVID-19 test, making citizens believe the sender is a Ministry of Health. The body of email is, you have been summon, summoned for a compulsory COVID-19 test. In the attached document is a date and the place are scheduled for your test, Send the message. This is accompanied by the logo of the ministry. Once we open the attached PDF, uh, you can see the suspicious link. And then uh, it's, it's possible that this URL is connected to the download malware or something like that. Next, cyber attacks are targeting hospitals. This hospital is a key COVID-19 testing site in the Czech Republic. This cyber attack uh, made all computers shut down and urgent surgeries are postponed. It doesn't know detail, but it is possible that this attack used ransomware. This case is not related with previous I mentioned. Uh, this diagram shows a chain of the events that PC has a ransomware infection. First, access to uh, wisecleaner.best, which is a fake site, and then user downloads slash soft slash wsh setup.exe by themselves. After executing this malware, infected PC connected with trynda.xyz. Lastly, file1.exe kpot file2.exe ransomware downloaded and infected respectively. The picture shows after infection with this ransomware. C drive name changed coronavirus. You can see the coronavirus message is also. And this message says that the pay a bet Bitcoin and the contact email uh, we can confirm. This graph indicates a massive increase in the traffic with large scale work from home. Please look at the red square. The number of VPN increased 40% compared to a typical day. From this information, we can see that many people around the world work from home the before corona pandemic. This chart shows the number of sourced IP and that attacks targeting security devices. This data is detected by JSOC, as I mentioned. Uh, blue is, uh, blue is uh, Strix and orange is a uh, big IP and gray is a 40 OS. Arrow is a uh, pulse secure. 
from May to June, the number of detection against six and 40 OS has been increased rapidly and, ju and, rapidly and June uh, 12th, uh, approximately over 700 attacks are observed. These kind of attacks are still confirmed until now. I will introduce what kind of attacks are confirmed respectively. The attack code which exploits strict vulnerability and can execute arbitrary code was released on December 17th, 2019. Due to this kind of attack, we confirm that an attacker made backdoor. You can confirm an uh, arbitrary code uh, by using uh, by exploiting this vulnerability. And in this case, uh, attacker try a directory traversal to get external files. This attack is released in uh, August 2019. Attack that exploited the vulnerability is a CVE 2019-11510. In this case, attacker tried to access a SSL VPN web session file by exploiting CVE 2018-13379. This image is the result of running exploit 40 OS vulnerability. We can see ID and password in the plain text. This is a test environment. So it's easy uh, to, conf uh, to find ID and password in the plain text by using this vulnerability. And this screenshot shows the result of running exploit big IP vulnerability. We can see the contents of Etose password information. Okay, from this slide, let's get into the main, theme, main theme. First, I start introducing spam mail related coronavirus. This screenshot shows the subject of all spam emails is coronavirus related. Such as coronavirus disease, COVID-19 important communications. The following is method employee request form for leave under the FMLA family and medical leave act and the COVID-19 support items. Attackers tend to use a uh, official trademark, uh, WHO or US government, and also in this case, use uh, some transport company. So attacker, uh, I analyzed uh, many spam emails uh, related to coronavirus. So many cases use a uh, WHO and uh, abuse uh, official trademark. Uh, this map illustrates what country these spam mails have been sent from and the bar chart below show, below, uh, show the top five countries. Spain and Russia are uh, same number. It is very clear that the number of the US are higher than any other countries, over 60. Following the US, Germany is the second highest number, 17. The number of France is the third highest at 14. Other than these three countries, there was not a big difference among the rest of countries. Okay, so US is the highest of all. The pie chart shows the percentage of malware attached to spam emails in this research. Agent Tesla's account accounts for the largest uh, proportions at 61. 
the second largest proportion of the total is Lokibot and 28. The number of Asian Tesla is about twice as much as Lokibot, other than these. And also Nanokorat and Formbook, Trickbot, Fokai, as well as we confirm. I introduced sample email related coronavirus, spam mail are coming from a variety of country. What type of malware attached? Next, I explain method for group classification for each attacker. First, I explain motivation and why it is important for grouping and categorizing threat source. In this research, I surveyed 217 spam emails. I thought that if it was sent them by the same attacker, it would have some characteristics. Uh, spam emails can be classified uh, to some extent by comparing the header information and the attached malware sheets information. So the spam mail is by making by the human. That, that, that's where it is. That's why I think that uh, this email has some characteristic and some key point to trace the attacker or grouping key. If it group, it, if it can be grouped, the characteristic of each attacker can be organized and it will be easier to share the IOC. It becomes easier to think about defense measures also. From this research, I prove it, it is possible to classify the spam emails. First of all, I explain the image of connecting each email. If below two email has the same IOCs, such as C2 or SMTP sender IP like that, there is a possibility that these email send from the same attacker. So I can circle two emails. As with two emails, you can connect each email if you find same IOC. In addition, the group may be rated with other group if some same characteristic are found. This slide lets a review what kind of information an email has. First one is the subject and the contents, contents of sentence and attachment file and the from uh, sender IP, sender domain from uh, mail address and malware. And then we've uh, analyzed malware and we found a sheet to server. In this research, I use this information for, che uh, for checking whether related to each email. I explain a little more concretely. If two email has the same IOC, such as C2 server, SMTP sender IP, email from domain, email subject, AS and TTP and malware. This email could be sent from the same attacker. Uh, just because the AS is the same may not be the basis. So in that case, I will look at other information as well. This picture shows a Excel sheet I use. As you can see this, the Excel card by group, by doing so, it is easy to grasp each attacker once open a seat. I describe the process and points of grouping cyber threat attackers. First, Classifying by small group and see the relationship with other small groups and make it 
into the large group. When you try to do this, please care that rather than plotting all the information in hundreds of emails and then classifying them, consider the relevance at the timing of a plotting each one. However, we do not look deeply at this stage, such as the movement of malware and static analysis like that. Second point is the all information of each email judged to be in the same group become uh, the characteristic of the group. If you have almost finished grouping or uh, checking, check uh, whether it is relevant from this information. Uh, little basis, such as the same AS over the same subject, then dig deeper into the attached malware. As an important note, I recommend you a mark a note or the same IP as to why these spam emails E and A and B are grouped together. I didn't do when uh, I start. I I didn't do when I started, so it becomes so hard to trace it. So please, I recommend uh, you mark a note on why this group is the same. So easy to trace later. I introduce characteristic of each adversary by grouping themselves. The first group is A. Uh, so group A is the biggest adversary of all I introduced today. This adversary is Agent Tesla many times. They attach Excel files and archive files to email, to emails and use G-Roader, etc. to infect Agent Tesla. This group not only use Agent Tesla, but also Phonebook, Hawkeye, Rockybot, Mastlogger, and Abemaria Rat, and Nanocorat, and also NGRAT. They use a variety of malware than other groups. Six emails are sent by group A. First, please take a look at subject. The subject of all emails is latest vaccine release for coronavirus COVID-19. Regarding the from header, we confirm Dr. Stella WHO and assist uh, Dr. Kim Jiang. I think they like uh, doctor. Uh, interestingly, attached malware are different. Uh, from book, Agent Tesla, Nanocarat, even though the subject and from are the same. Okay, so the subject is the same. And also the uh, from header, some of the key point, uh, attacker use the same tendency. In this case is a doctor, as uh, they, they many times use. However, the malware is uh, different. Uh, this shows the subject of emails and from header are some characteristic of attackers. Six emails are also sent by group A. Please check a uh, mail address. We can see that address domain of the old email is foo.int. Attached malware are also different. Folk I, Agent Tesla, Rockybot, Abe Maria Rat, and Angel Rat. This information can be element when you think characteristic of each email. Some attackers have quirks in the subject, uh, from address domain, etc. Of, of the email. We can confirm a uh, WHO dot. INT uh, many times when I research. So the emails have important information for grouping attackers. These SMTP IPs are often used by group A. AS is 24940 and 
199653 respectively. Four IPs were confirmed for each of the same AS. Emails with this subject were sent from the listed IP associated with each AS. So four subjects of this email sent by the, this four IP address. And also uh, AS199653 mail address. This, mail, uh, this subject is sent by this mail address, uh, this uh, IP address. So many times I uh, use this IP address by uh, group A. Finally, I explain about characteristic of Maria C2 in group A. Why, while analyzing group A malware, I came across IP starting with 77, 16 times. It means uh, 16 emails attached malware connected with this IP. Maria type is Asian Tesla and Maslogar. In addition, we also confirmed the Maria attached to 21 emails connected to the four IPs on the right side of the screen and they linked to the seven domains. The number of emails judged to be group A is 63 emails. It can be seen that more than half of the 63 emails have these characteristics. So the group A is a memory use uh, agent tester and also uh, they, they leave a lot of uh, characteristic. Next, I introduce group B. I thought initially group B was an attacker who used only TorikBot. It is very easy to classify TorikBot because the use sheets is the same. You can imagine it as an attacker used TorikBot is one group. The other group use KPOT, LokiBot, Azorout. The first time, uh, the two group is uh, different. However, I saw a relationship between uh, TorikBot and KPOT. So I could grasp of the four group B. I explain connection between TorikBot and KPOT in the details. I found two emails. First one is state 2020, uh, June 3rd. Subject, uh, new COVID-19 dealership safety rules from the government. Attachment, new COVID-19 dealership safety rules from government.pdf.gz. This malware is KPOT. The other one is date 2020, June 28th, and subject is our coronavirus exposure. Attachment uh, is the application coronavirus.xls. This malware is finally a trick bot. I started to suspect they were in the same group because they have the same icon. From this fact, I think this program is used by the same builder. I tried 200 Maria samples, but there are not many that have such character strings. I researched these character strings and found that it is possible that this group use a unique packer or obfuscated. I searched the Maria that is use same type of obfuscation. as if for the another Maria that using it. This is exact Maria. Sorry, this is exact email with KPOT, LokiBot, and Azrael attached. The four emails have the same email address. 
COVID-19 found at mail address, uh, SM, starting from SM. And the two emails have the same SMTP sender IP, starting from 199. In addition, the subject of emails are almost the same. These SMTP IPs are often used by group B. AS is 300834286664 and 49505 respectively. Six IPs were confirmed for each one of the uh, for six IPs were confirmed for each of the same AS. Email with uh, these subjects were sent from the listed IP associated with each AS. I couldn't conclude uh, that this email was B group, but I introduced it because there is a possibility related with B. Please remember AS197695 at the first, and this attacker probably takes a domain specifically. Uh, top level domain is uh, dot space. The attached malware is ISID. Date. Uh, April 8th, this kind of email has been spread. This is a one of the sample email, which is group B. AS is the same as ISID email, and the mail address top level domain is also the same. In addition, the attacker was sending such email with a specific top level domain, a link to the AS uh, number is the same. Another sample is date 2020, May uh, 22nd, as and top level top uh, top level domain are also same. And attachment uh, ten uh, the name of attachment are either very similar. For these reasons, for these reasons, I presume that this email is group B. Group B is the second largest group of all I introduced today. Next, I would like to talk background of this adversary. I found some hints that lead to this attacker. Group B documents have some characteristics. Language setting is Russian and I found words related to the Russia. If you use exif tool to check the document file, you can see that it contains Russian character set. Misha nicknamed a Russian male name, uh, Mihail, also an abbreviation for the bear in the Russian. You can see that the language setting in the document file is English word environment. English word environment, but you can see that it contains a Russian character set if you use exif tool. Exif tool. Okay, so the next group is C. All malware was running on the same C2 and starting from 185. This group mainly use LAT malware, async LAT and NJ LAT and Lemcos LAT. This sheet summarizes group C information. The subject of all emails are almost the same. The title is starting from UL, TTEC, COVID-19, protecting, protective closing. In addition, the SMTP sender IPs are also the same. Starting with 203 and 198 respectively.
Please look where it is written in the red at C2IB. You can confirm that all C2 is the same even though the malware is different. NJRAT case and async rat case and remcos rat we confirm, but the sheet's IP address is the same. Okay, so the, this is the last topic in my presentation. I introduce cross-checking IOC analysis using STIX version 2. After collecting spam emails related to the coronavirus and analyzing characteristics of each adversary, I want to find out the relevance to other IOC, uh, but I don't want to spend a high cost. Then I decided to use open source tools, STIP. STIP is a threat intelligent platform to bring down barriers among separate practices of CTI sharing. STIP solves solve, solve these problems before I introduce. Researchers collect a lot of IOC data during uh, threat analysis. I think this data is very valuable. I also has many IOC data, but it's uh, difficult to the make use of uh, good analyzing the next step. So, but however, by using these uh, tools, we can find new, th new things. So my favorite feature of this tool is you can post the CSV file to the STIP as if it were posted to the SNS. The CSV file is automatically converted to the sticks. This figure shows after posting IOC data to STIP, you can input the name of IOC data and also select TLP. So if you want to share privately or disclose in analysis team, you can choose them. This picture indicates the IOC data. Each circle is IOC data. If you click each circle, you can see what data is stored. Uh, what we if, what we expect uh, from STIP is you can find the relationship data to STIP by group. If two different IOC data is matched, you can see the connection between two, like this picture. In this case, two k port C2 may connect with uh, ransomware IOC. So graphically is also cool, and it's easy to find and recognize the connection between, connection between the two malwares. I introduced the same infrastructures were used in multiple threads. First, I found the connection between the agent tester, uh, this agent tester related to COVID-19 C2, and emoted. If you click uh, connect to the circle, if you click uh, the connecting point, you can see the detailed information. Two IP addresses are starting from 212 are related with both agent Tesla and Emotet. And these IP addresses are used by group A. Okay, so the group A, uh, group A uh, is use uh, group A attackers. Is it possible that this attacker use uh, emoted too. 
before I introduce our group as malware. Next, starting from 91, IP addresses are used a both form book related to COVID-19 and Lamunit. So from this information, it is possible that this group use Emotet and Lamunit too. We can get to know more about group A information by cross-checking IOC. In addition, I found a connection between Agent Tesla, this is a related COVID-19 C2, and Lamunit, starting from uh, 208 IP address. So the um, COVID uh, related COVID-19 uh, atta attackers uh, also use uh, Lamunit malware. As of the September 2020, more than 250 domains that may have been used for phishing, etc., uh, were assigned to one IPs. By doing cross-check, you can get deeper view of the group's information and threat relationship. So, uh, conclusion. So, it is possible to classify attackers by analyzing the uh, characteristics of spam emails and related malware. Mm -hmm. To research uh, the IOC related threats, we have found open source tools can be also can also be used to the leach variable information and new discoveries. It's easy to normalize an IOC that you store every day, and it's uh, more benefit from getting a variable information. The corona-related spam emails we investigate were found to be related to other threats as well. It turns out that most attackers are not using new threats but are exploiting existing pre-epidemic threats. So attacker user Asian Tesla and uh, Hokuai and Nanoko Arat. Uh, this malware uh, is all famous. These malware are very famous uh, before pandemic. So the attacker exploit existing uh, pre-epidemic threats. The reference is here. So thank you very much for uh, listening to my presentation. Okay, so uh, if you have a question, uh, please feel free to ask me uh, by doing chat. Thank you. I can you hear me? Oh, yes, I can hear you. Sorry oh, okay. about that. I'm so uh, uh, we can we can do some questions on the stream for a little bit. And or and the, or we'll just leave the zoom up. Um, let's let's get. Uh, I'll I'll let me uh, turn off the streams. And 
will join you in the Zoom right now. Hold on a second here. All right. <clears throat> 